Hey guys, and welcome to the Dado Show. Hey, I wanted to talk to you real quick about photography inside of Gran Turismo Sport. Um, <clears throat> you guys have probably seen the escapes button over here, right next to your vehicle. You have to look at this little camera, and it says escapes all the time. And you may have never been in there. Well, I'm going to show you what this is all about. So go ahead and click on that. And we're going to go right in. We're going to choose a quick place. Uh, let's go to Paris. All right. So this is Global Tourist Destinations in Paris. And we can choose a place here in Paris to shoot a car. So we're actually going to do a photo shoot. There's more that you can download. Okay. So let's just choose one. How about this? This looks nice. Yeah, this looks nice. Now, we can go ahead and place a car if we want to. Um, you can go just change the settings on this picture before you actually place a car. But uh, for simplicity, let's go ahead and let's place a car. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose this Nova. All right. And we're going to bring it a little closer here. Let's see. Change the steering. There we go. Oh, wrong way. I want the wheels to go that direction. I go ahead and turn the headlights on. Oh, yeah, it looks nice. Look at that. We can turn brake lights on. You can even turn the, the four way hazard signals on if you want to, the turn signals. I don't really see a need to do that. You can add multiple other cars. So if you wanted to add a bunch of other cars in here and have them, you know, in a line, you could absolutely do that. Um, and you can edit each one individually so you can adjust the wheels. You know, you can do like a little car show if you wanted to. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll, I'll leave this, this second one on here. That's fine. Now let's go over to our camera settings because this is where it gets kind of fun. So we can adjust our camera here. Um, and what all, what we can also do is we can change these uh, settings. So if I wanted to have a blurry background, then I could lower my aperture. Now that lowers it so that it's a really, uh, the lower number is a really wide aperture. So if you, if you picture the, the iris of your eyeball, if it opens really wide, okay, then it's letting a lot of light in. Now, because that light comes in from different directions, uh, it can only focus on one little point at a time. And I'll show you this real quick. If I zoom in to where the car is here, oh, I tilted. Let me do that. You can see that because the focus point's in the middle of the picture, the car is blurry. All right. Now, if I raise the aperture up, everything's in focus. But if I want to do a blurry background, I can lower that aperture, and then I can go make sure that you, you know you're in single autofocus. Okay, hold down Square and bring that up to the car. All right. Now I don't necessarily want it to focus on the front of the car because then the back of the car is blurry. If I focus on the back of the car, the front of the car gets a little blurry. So I want to focus right here, right on top of this wheel. Okay. Now when I do that, you see how the background gets nice and blurry. That's wonderful. That's exactly what we wanted it to do. All right. So now let's back this back out. Um, there we go. Yeah. See, it's not too blurry. It doesn't really set the eye off. It's just blurry enough. It's it's perfect. They did a really good job with this because that's kind of what it would do in real life, unless you unless you zoomed in um, like this. So then you're going to get a lot of bokeh if you zoom in. But since we're not doing that. We'll let it come out real nice and wide here. Something about like that's about what we want for a good picture, okay? Now you can also adjust your exposure correction, your shutter speed, etc. If we have a lower shutter speed, of course the blur will be more pronounced. A higher shutter speed um, motion blur will be counteracted. Now in real life I wouldn't shoot below 1 one hundredth of a second in any condition really at all unless it was like dark outside like really nighttime anyway not uh, 
I'm not going to go into much more explanation than that for a video game. That's more for a photography class. So let's go on over to effects. For effects, we can change the white balance. So we can actually make it look like it's, you know, more uh, dark here by going to a cooler light and then going in and changing the exposure correction here. So uh, see how it looks like it's more nighttime. All right. Uh, or we can make it look more like it's in the uh, the sunset hours by adding a little bit more color temperature here. I kind of like that though, you know. See how blue it is? That's that's. We can go in here and we can add a lot more color temperature. And you can go crazy with color temperature. You can go all the way up and and you can get into like purples and stuff. Really don't like that, uh, but I, I do like these higher 8,000s, right in the 9,000 range. That, that looks really nice. Yeah, so we'll leave that. Alright, now let's go on down. Color cast correction. You can, th this changes um, highlights and shadows. Okay, is basically what we're looking at here. So you can make your, your shadows be more green or your shadows be more purple. Alright, I like them just the way they are, so we're going to leave them exposure correction that's pretty much perfect where it's at now you can go affect the global preset okay where it's changing the background and the cars or we can come down here and put a mask on the cars or you know a, a kind of a fuzzy mask where it's kind of like striped you see let's see yeah, so it does something like this. It gives you like a grunge effect. It's pretty cool. Might have to use that later. Um, I like masking it out so that I can change just the background and then the cars separately so, it, so they don't affect each other. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to adjust some of these settings for the background. Now I've got this mask on, okay, and I've got it set on background. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change, I'm going to drop the brightness down. I'll get some more red colors in here. Look how beautiful that makes it look. Now green, if we go towards the green, all right, it's going to take, if it, or towards the zero, it takes the green out. If we go towards the 500, it adds green in. All right, so we just want a little bit of the green there. The blue, I want to take some of the blue out. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? contrast let's get a little bit more contrast in here so it looks more like it's dark all right maybe not that much we'll add it individually by adding some of the red or excuse me yeah adding some of the red all right adding a little bit of the green and a little bit of the blue all right perfect highlights um, highlights are either going to blow out your highlights all right see how it's causing a halo effect around all the lights or we can bring it down and you don't it looks almost desaturated it looks funky so we don't want that we want a nice happy medium which is kind of where it was set anyway so we're going to leave that where it's at your midpoint corrections that's adjusting your black midpoints all right um, if if you want you can play around with this sometimes it can give you a nice uh, correction on your your not complete blacks and not complete lights are, are you know kind of your shadows and this just adjusts your blackest of blacks okay and then it, it says where should my black point be well the black point should be like your tires all right it should not be for instance the shadows and stuff should not be completely black that's what it is if i if i lower that down if i raise it up it says hey nothing should be completely black right and so we it, it's usually in a nice happy medium there anyway so we will just leave it backing out of that we can go and we can actually add a second mask here so this is where you know you might want to do a mask where you're you're masking off the 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 bottom of the picture and you add you know a, a weird tint for the sky something like that all right um we can do that right there that's, that's kind of weird or you can add a whole nother background effect uh, without the cars all right now down here at the very bottom you've got just your car effects so you can get you know a, a nice lo-fi there 
I like that and then we can adjust some of the details here and let's adjust our contrast here oh there we go we want to let some of that red come on through oh yeah it's looking good now and we actually need to bring down our midpoints just a little bit on this and the reason why is we, we want it to match the background okay I'm going to bring the brightness down a little bit more on the cars yeah there we go and let's add some red back in oh look at that mm, 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 mm. it's almost like the sky is just beating off of the cars I love that all right guys so we're pretty much done with this uh, you know you can play around with these settings all you want um, basically what you're going to end up with is uh, show quality pictures and uh, this one is a, a good example uh, don't forget you can always go back and you can grab those cars and 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 you can delete them so you can say delete selected car and then you're just left with the one um, I really like being able to do stuff like that you can still reposition your car and all your effects stay on that car so um, this is a really good program get in here play around with it share these with all your friends uh, probably what I'm gonna do is start making some uh, 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 phone backgrounds uh, if that's something you guys would like uh, I can go in and, and make some with all the different cars uh, let you guys download them for free you know you can have them for your your Samsung or your iPhone or whatever um, and I'll make some that you know you can use on your computer if you guys have desktops or laptop computers you want to use a background like this uh, that might be something that you want and, and I'll be a little bit more customizing I've gone through this very quickly today uh, just to get you the basic settings so that you guys can play around with it as well but hey uh, this has been a photography lesson in side of Gran Turismo so I hope you guys have really enjoyed this and um, have learned a lot and if you have go ahead and click the like button if you enjoyed it and if you have any other questions go ahead and leave me a comment so I can answer that in a follow-up video I uh, appreciate you guys for liking and subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one